Do you ever feel like you're playing Minecraft wrongly sometimes? Well, if I buy an apple, I expect to eat the whole damn apple. I don't even like apple. If I buy a piano, I expect to use the whole fucking piano. If you spend $29.99 buying this game, then judging by this perfectly correlated apples to orange comparison, you are playing Minecraft wrongly because you aren't playing all of Minecraft. Do not worry though, for I, some random person on the internet, who the fuck are you? will be playing Minecraft the right way for all of you. I've prepared a handy list of the things that no one does in Minecraft. We will be playing Minecraft correctly together. This won't be Minecraft. This will be our craft. This epic run of ours starts with gathering resources normally. One of these resources are spider eyes. 99% of the time, these spider eyes are used for potion making, specifically potions of poison. However, the game makes these eyes edible, which means... After that eye-opening meal, we need a source of light. Torches? Everyone fucking does that. Glowstones, sea lanterns, lanterns, all stuff you've done before in Minecraft. My wallet feels light just looking at these things. The $29.99 feels wasted. You know what light source isn't used? Jack-o'-lanterns. Each jack-o'-lantern you place makes you an inch closer to the full value of your product. And a full two inches closer to playing Minecraft correctly. And as an added bonus, you can celebrate Halloween in September. On the topic of least use, you haven't really made... On the topic of least use, you haven't really explored all of Minecraft if you haven't made a house out of solid bricks. First you break blocks of clay, then you collect the clay, then die with the clay. What? Then you smelt the clay, and finally you merge four of them into one brick block. All that hard work to give. A pretty fucking ugly house, not gonna lie. The experience of building a house out of bricks is truly an experience worth remembering. Masochist. Building that brick house really took a lot of energy and now we need more food. As delicious as spider eyes are, they aren't very sustainable. You know what else is a food in Minecraft that people waste their money by not eating? Beetroot. Specifically beetroot soup. Why eat one beetroot at a time to restore half a hunger point? When you can eat six instantly to restore six times the hunger point. And as an added bonus, see why absolutely no one likes the beetroot. <laughs> On the topic of something no one likes, the 1.19 update. Remember the 1.17 update? It gave us the long-awaited cave updates, completely revamping the cave generation. It made caves a staple part of the gameplay rather than the strip mining menace it initially was. I think it's safe to say, the 1.17 update puts the mine in Minecraft. <laughs> It also added copper and amethyst geodes, materials essential to... Materials essential to make spy glasses. I was scrolling through. Fuck off, wiki. The list of advancements to see what advancement I haven't done yet. And then I saw spy glasses in the list and I was like, oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. That, that, that thing they added in the cave update. Yeah, these things allow us to see very far. Just like Optifine. Optifine aside, people don't even use these things anyways. Except for us, because we are making sure our 29.99 are being used to their fullest potential. Maybe if they made it so that if you zoomed in on the leaves, you see little itty bitty spiders on them. But I'd imagine that 3 to 15% of the player base wouldn't be too happy about that. Next thing you probably haven't done is fishing! You can see why AFK fish farms generate millions of views. Moving on, Minecraft allows you to make gold tools. And they haven't removed them from the game yet. Which means they are part of the intended Minecraft gameplay. And you have never played Minecraft correctly if you have never made a gold tool. Oh my god, a gold hoe! With a durability so fragile you have to carry it around like a newborn with osteoporosis. With the same use of a regular hoe, but... Half the attack speed for some reason. Moyang clearly wanted us to use gold tools so badly they even included them in ruin portals. And would you look at that? The armor even has thorns! An enchantment so broken, people avoid it because it will make the game too easy, clearly. These ruin portals also give us fire charges. Moyang's 
<laughs> Mo Yang's way of discouraging us to use flint and steel. If you haven't started a nether portal using fire chargers, then we'll do it together soon. Our portal. But first for something more controversial. How do we build our portal? 10 obsidian? Or 14 obsidian? Because clearly 92 is the right answer. 23 by 23, maximum dimension. Before entering the nether, we must have the top of the line weaponry. The best of the best. If you haven't had a golden axe with Bane of Arthropods, what are you even doing with your life? Are you even playing Minecraft? You can see this fight with this zombie pigman that the axe is working so well because of this enchantment. This axe is fucking terrible! <laughs> this axe has saved me from this battle. I must preserve it. If you've never done repairs the old way on an anvil, you probably use Mandy, let's be real. Keeping up with this hot streak of value generation, you are playing Minecraft wrongly if you aren't using cauldrons in the nether. Not only are these things inherently cursed because they're the only source of wetness in the nether, these things are extremely helpful in extinguishing the fire you get from blazers. After collecting some blaze rods, raiding the nether fortress, and facing some hard to relate tall people problems, this thing happens. With these blaze rods, we can create a brewing stand to make thick potions. Thick potions can be made similar to awkward and mundane potions. They even have their own specific recipe requiring glowstone and only glowstone to be brewed. But since they are in the game, they probably do something. Hopefully drinking these potions will make a character's ass thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. It doesn't. Thick potions are absolutely useless, providing nothing of value. Moyang just added these potions and probably forgot to give them a use. If you've ever viewed useless in life, remember, at least you're not a THICK potion. While thick potions are truly an experience not worth remembering, they are truly an experience worth your money. Speaking of worth your money, you've more than likely ran out of arrows. What are you gonna do, make a skeleton farm? <laughs> No. If you obtain arrows by crafting or looting them, then you are an unintelligent bastard fool. <coughs> Moying has added this super broken feature that allows you to duplicate arrows. With the cheap cheap cost of 4 glowstone dust, you can make 2 spectral arrows. The arrows that pretty much everyone forgot existed. It makes mobs you should glow. So um, yay I guess? <gasps> it's the forbidden fruit, the most useless and underused item in the entire game. It is said that eating a poisonous potato will give you godlike powers. Look, the weather even cleared up. This is a sign from God. We will finally be on the right track to playing Minecraft correctly, together. I wasn't even poisoned? What a fucking shit! We now need a mode of transport to the end. Using the useless fishing rod, we can make a useless carrot on a stick. You probably haven't done this yet. And you never will again. I think we're better off walking to the portal. <gasps> Did you know that you've been fighting pillagers wrongly? There is a more meaningful and resourceful method of taking care of them by leaving a half block gap between the two of you and forcing the pillager to shoot at you for 15 minutes plus you will eventually tame the pillager by breaking their crossbow With their crossbow broken, you can brutally murder him in the slowest way possible I died while looking for the end portal but thanks to the poisonous potato I managed to use my godlike powers to create another path towards the end portal and I've made tip arrows Remember these things me neither. And with that, we've beaten the game 100% legitimately and objectively correct. In my opinion, we have squeezed every last bit of value out of this game. But there's one final thing about Minecraft that you're playing wrongly. You're playing Minecraft. You should be playing other, better games. Like League of Legends. Now that you know how to play Minecraft correctly, you need to apply this sacred knowledge in your next Minecraft boss fight. And this video where I made an epic boss fight in 8 minutes has all you need to know as to how you can do that. <laughs>